there, my name is Diana Vandermeule and I'm the 2007-2008 Queen of the Furrow for Hastings County. Uh, if you don't know what the Queen of the Furrow competition is about, I'll just give you a little brief on that. It's a competition for girls aged 16 to 24 and what we do is we act as an ambassador for not only Hastings County but for agriculture and farm safety. Uh, York University for Visual Arts, so I'm studying on uh, painting, drawing, photography, and art history. Um, I was there in Toronto for a large part of my reign this year as the 2007-2008 Queen of the Furrow, so I had a lot of opportunities to talk to people who weren't from a rural area and who had only grown up in the city. So I got to talk to them about what they felt agriculture was and what I had to say about agriculture, so it was neat um, meeting different people hearing, you know, their thoughts about it, but some people didn't know anything at all. You know, milk comes from a bag that they get from the grocery store, and cereals off the shelf, so it was kind of neat just to talk to people and actually kind of tell them that farmers actually are a really important part of today's society, regardless of how much attention they get about it. So it was neat to tell people, you know, kind of spread the word that agriculture isn't a joke, it's something really important. The reason why I ran for the Queen of the competition, um, my father was killed in a farming accident two years ago so when I found out that the Queen of the Furrow was an ambassador for you know farming and farm safety it kind of really drew me to that so that's that's the incentive that's why I wanted to do that so um, basically I've been <coughs> excuse me I've been going to public schools during the school year when I got back from university. I went to four different schools and I talked to the kids um, from kindergarten to grade eight. I talked to the younger kids about different kinds of farms and where our food comes from and how to have a healthy diet and like the older kids I talked to about how to play safely, like living in a rural community, um, how to be safe around machinery, how to use things like ATVs, four-wheelers, how to use things like that properly and safely. Um, I've just been stressing farm safety a lot because I, you know, everybody takes it for granted. You don't, you don't realize that, you know, you should be wearing, you know, even things like gloves or like steel-toed shoes, you know? People don't think about things like that and it's just something that needs to be brought to their attention. You know, machinery, you know, bigger than your house <laughs> isn't a joke, so. As great of an opportunity as it is for me to take the time to be the Queen of the Furrow, to act as an ambassador for agriculture and farm safety, I've really realized this year that you don't need a title to do those things. If you believe in something, then stand up for that, no matter if it's agriculture, anything, anything that you feel passionately about. You don't need a title. Just do it.